going, man? Good, good, thank you. Didn't want to interrupt the flow, but I just got out of another meeting and wanted to check in. No worries, no worries. Like, I'm here with Antoine, that is like a, a friend and a colleague here in Malta. And like, uh, he, he, I entice him to come to this, um, this event. And he's my community manager, if I'm not mistaken. No? <laughs> and um, as I was telling you about Suite and Buffer are two tools that support the, um, the management of social media. Um, you know, like I do not recommend them specifically, but like it's something to have in mind. We tend to use so much social media to reach out our community, young people in your case, or parents, and to inform on what we are doing. Like this software, these tools will allow you to schedule in advance poster posts and understand a little bit better what is going on on your social media and monitor them accordingly. Nowadays, also Facebook or Meta has created a tool that is not that dissimilar, so that also can be very interesting to be using. On, on the other hand, like we got two um, other interesting tools that are Adi Grants or um, the whole um, the whole Google advertisement that allows you to use 10,000 euro, as I was telling you, per month in advertisements on Google. Um, it is a little bit complex as a tool, but like, you know, maybe we can work it out all together as a group here, Marta as a platform, and like try to use it all together. So that could be a, a good idea to approach this um, this idea, um, this tool that it's free for everybody. And Facebook ads, of course, I mean, like uh, if you are on Facebook, like you would have seen somebody posting something um, as an ad, like that's also uh, something we can work on. Um, I'm a big fan of like um, speaking about fundraising, you know, like sometimes nonprofit organization, I don't know what's the feeling here in Malta, but I believe that like uh, at least in Italy, nonprofit organizations are not so concerned about fundraising. But if they want to be sustainable, if they want to be impactful, I think it is extremely important to have a differentiated source of income, meaning to have different... <clears throat> to have different um, revenue stream coming from projects, coming from donors, and also like coming from fundraising. Those are all tools that like I suggest or like I've been he hearing about. Um, Eventbrite, it's for the organization of events mostly and allows you to create a community, to set up um, tickets and like um, receiving donations all within the, 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 um, the platform. And like it's helpful because like you know in this way you don't need to um do anything with pen or paper or like collect the money or like what's not paypal also has um is a very simple tool that you can access like with a discount for non-profit organization if i'm not mistaken the simple um the simple paypal has a fee like a, a little bit of money that you need to pay for each amount of money you receive with the PayPal for non-profit, if you access that, that will be cut enough. Mm -hmm. So like it means that, you know, you're not losing money every time somebody is giving you some money with PayPal. So like it's also important to know. Facebook fundraising, this is also something that was quite interesting. Um, it's a tool to collect money within Facebook so you can organize a fundraising. And uh, for example, how it is used very often is that like um, people, when it's their birthday, they will select a um, nonprofit organization and they will type, you know, like instead of buying me the new iPhone or like whatever, like just donate some money to this organization because I support it. It's my heart there. So like um, in Italy, it's not working very well at the moment, but I don't know here in Malta, but I can check it out for you. But like, it's always interesting to listen to that. Um, also, something that I really loved and in Rome was working really nicely, I don't know if still uh, working like that, is Airbnb experience. Airbnb experience is connected with Airbnb, the, the, you know, the house and like the, the home rental. Um, but like um, it, the experiences is connected to what can happen, um, you know, in living like a local. Meaning that when you go to Malta, for example, you will be um, having a tour with somebody who is from Malta that will show you how to make pastizzi or like uh, will bring you to the best ftira and whatnot. And like through Airbnb experience for non-profit, you can organize events um, that have a fee. So like, for example, each person that will participate will pay 10 euros or something like that. And that amount of money will completely go to your charity, to your organization. So like it's another way to both promote your organization and to do fundraising. And with Airbnb experience for nonprofit, there is no fee for nonprofit organization. So that's also very interesting. 
eBay, we all know eBay, it's like an auction website, so you can put up things, but there is also eBay for charity that allows, you know, again, like people are private to um, sell items and all the collection of the money will go directly to the organization. So like, this is also very interesting. Canva, I think we spoke about Canva last time. It's a simple tool for creating graphics and everything that is visual. Like um, it's very simple. And what I love of Canva is that like you can access the pro version freely if you are a nonprofit organization, which means that like you have a lot of different features that are for free. And also, you know, like I, what I do with my organizations and also when I'm working with younger people is I'm always asking them if they want to play with Canva because like it's fun and they can create some very interesting visuals for uh, my organization, for the project and whatnot. So like that's also something to consider and like the process to access it for free, it's like uh, five minutes, not even that. Lastly, and this is a little bit more advanced tool, so like something that I would not recommend to start with, but to think about in general. So like um, I think that one of the main or the most interesting thing that a nonprofit organization does very well is creating a relationship. But what we don't do very well is cultivating those relationships on a regular basis and to uh, create the value like between this relationship between beneficiaries, volunteers, donors, and in general the community. So those are all tools that like can help you in that. Um, I will always start to say, start with a database, you know, like uh, it can be as a simple Excel file in which there is all the names, all the, um, all the emails or the connections of the people that you, um, that are around your organization so that you can connect with them and speak with them. Volunteer management. Um, I think Damian told you about like that they have developed an in-house software to manage all the process of the booking of the volunteers that are going to Kenya and Cambodia and India. And like, this is sim similar. I mean, like it's not in-house, meaning like it's not developed according to the necessities of the organization, but it's something that it's, um, that it's already there and you can access. It is a way for the volunteers to be always um, updated on what is going on in the organization. They can be always like um, knowing what to do. And in general, they can be in the loop of um, the many activities that we have. There is a ton of different software that can be used for that. But I always recommend, you know, like uh, to start very simple because like it can be a little bit more too overwhelming. And I think we used like, uh, we used to use uh, CVCRM that was quite cool on that side, no? Yeah, that's right. I, um, I used CVCRM for a number of years and actually currently I'm using HubSpot, which uh, just opened up a, a charity discount program. Um, actually, I think it may have been expanded to the UK, which might mean it also gets expanded to Malta because it's administered by the same tech soup, but I'm not positive about that. But yeah, there are a number of good options out there, but of course CRM is always the hardest of any projects to bring into an organization because you need to have a deep understanding of like, what is your problems you're trying to solve and what's repeatable and what is the flow of the information so uh, always an adventure. <laughs> true that, true that. Anyway, like um, this is just like a tool that supports a lot of different um, activities within your organization. And it's most, mostly for connecting with other people and like to make sure that everybody's on the loop and like everybody's informed and everybody has the, the tools to do the work that it's supposed to do as a volunteer. And, mm. um, and lastly, something that I always speak about, analytics and data. You know, like um, what has changed a lot in the last 30 years as we started at the beginning is the fact that nowadays through technology, we're much more able to understand what is going on in terms of data. We can measure a lot of things. We can identify a lot of different things, but like uh, we need to know how to do it. There is, um, you know, like as simple as connecting um, Google Analytics to your website to know how many people are going there. There is a lot of other things that we can um we can implement in order to measure and understand better your impact. So this can be part of like a next um, event I'm doing. And this is more or less, you know, like what I wanted to tell you in this sense, you know, there is a lot of things. And what I wanted to hear was like, um, if you have any question or something you would like to see now, I know that you don't have much, much time, but like, I'll be happy to show you anything that you're interested about among the things that I showed you. Um. 
Okay, something simple. You know how you said um, you have a feature where somebody books meetings with you directly and gets an email back. I like that sort of simple automation, but it seems like it already gives a message about what you are about, what you believe in technology. You know how technology can be used for good and these little things. Um, could you show me something about that maybe now sure. or later? Yeah, no. Sure. Okay. Can you see my new screen? Just let me check because yes. I have 500 open. So this is um, Google Drive for no profit. Okay. And like, uh, as I was telling you before, within Google, you have a lot of different things with a, um, with a um, advanced version that is available for non-profit organization. And it's very, very easy to access. We can speak about that next time, or like I can show you very simply how to do it. Fundamentally, like it's a feature that is within this, um, this app that is the calendar. And how does it work? It works very, very simple. You know, um, do you use uh, Google Calendar by any chance? Or yes. like, uh, okay, great. So like, this is the advanced calendar and like it works very similar to a normal calendar, but it has a little bit more of options. And like the last one is called the appointment slots. And um, what it does is that like, it, it allows you to create slots of different duration in time. So for example, it can be 30 minutes as I do, or it can be 15 minutes. And like, you can say for how long, so like maybe we can put two hours, three hours, something like that. And, uh, and this is how it would look on your calendar. And how does it work to send it out to other people? It's like it creates this um, link for the calendar. And this is how it looks. So this is what you share. You just share the um, this block. You see the block with the word test on it? Uh -huh, uh -huh. If somebody who received that link like um, can book an appointment with Matteo Sisto on that specific day, at the specific time for that amount of uh, um, hours. And like they will, you know, like I will both receive an email, the other person will receive an email and there will also be um, a Google Meet link. So you will know already um, where to go and what to do during that meeting. And this is very, very simple to set up, but also very, very effective. So like, uh, for example, I am um, in some weeks, I will have um, some um, some meetings with different people. And like, this is my calendar. You see, get to know Europeamo. It's all the appointments that are bookable in my, oh, sorry. Yeah. Those are all the appointments that are bookable on my calendar. So like uh, when I send the email, they will receive the link to book an appointment with me and like I will know when they are coming and who is coming on that day. So this is something that is very simple to set up and it's all part of the Google for Nonprofit Care, which is this one. Okay. It's part of, um, how, how do you access this as a nonprofit? It's, uh, it's, it's very, very simple. So like, um, this is the page to go. It's Google for nonprofits. Like, uh, it is available in Malta since, um, May, 2020. So like, um, quite okay. recently. And like, um, the first thing you need to do is to create an account here. So you can create, you do sign in and you put, you know, like I have 500 accounts. So like, uh, I'm not going to be showing you this part, but it's just simple. You use your normal Gmail account and you follow the steps over here. Okay. Then at a certain point, it will ask you to go um, on TechSoup. Because like TechSoup, as I told you, like it's one of the providers of validation services for this sort of activity. So like for um, brands like Google, like they will validate that you are a nonprofit organization that you can actually access to this uh, software for free. Mm -hmm. And like, how does it work? You go on um, TechSoup, org you can select malta if i'm not mistaken but i think that like mm -hmm. all of them are more or less connected yeah that'll and, work yeah exactly and you go on login mm -hmm. and you if you don't have an account but i think you have because you told I me last time uh, exactly. exactly you you do the member login that i don't remember if it's this one here uh, f500 I don't know the password. Anyway, like uh, pa, pa, okay. pa, pa. you will reach a page that will say, you know, like um, 
If you give me two seconds, I'll try to find my okay. <laughs> account yeah. and everything, and I'll show you to the whole procedure because, like, it's uh, it's harder to explain than to do it. And also, yeah, you know, and maybe... I'll put a link to the TechSoup Canada site, which sort of walks people through how to find that token in the mm -hmm. back end. Um, because yeah, you just need to find like this random character string uh, from your free TechSoup account to do the proof with Google that you're the organization you claim you are. Okay. So actually, I need to leave off to my next meeting, but uh, Antoine, such a pleasure to meet with you. And Matteo, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, we'll Same be here, in touch. Ali. Yeah. Thank you so much for leading this event. Ciao, Ali. See ya. Thanks. Cheers. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Give me a second because, yeah, here I have it already. No okay. problem. So I'm finally inside my um, TechSoup account. I like, um, I go here in the top right, there is my organization account. I click on account and you say like, um, you have different headers. One of them is called token, validation token. Mm -hmm. You click on validation token and you will see, um, you can add, a new token, meaning that like uh, you can create a code that you will just need to input on um, on the Google page that I showed you before. So like on okay. Google for no profit, at a certain point, we'll ask you to insert the token that you just create through your account on TechSoup. Okay. And like after that, you can access everything on TechSoup. Uh, sorry, on Google. Also the calendar. You know, like and you can create uh, more accounts. Um, okay. You know, maybe for. Um, your volunteers or for departments or for yourself. And you know, like um, if you're interested in this specific topic, um, one of my next um, appointment would have been on how to access these things and we can do it together. You know, like okay. this is what I feel about. Um, I want this to be something that is helpful and useful for all of you. And you know, like since you are my first uh, <laughs> participant to this, I'll be very happy to build it just on your specific needs because you know, like I think many of others could be interested to that. Okay. Thank so you. maybe yeah, no, no, no. You're welcome. Thank you for for coming and uh, and being part of this. You know, like, uh, we need to start somewhere. <laughs> All right. And I um, let me see if I have other things to tell you, but I don't think. No, this is uh, more or less everything I wanted to tell. If you're interested, I can show you also some other tools in this moment. So like, uh, you know, like uh, we can organize for a meeting maybe in beginning of June on Google for no profit or like, uh, you know, we can speak about how to organize a meeting in which like you would be available for one hour and a half and I will help you to set it up properly. Okay. Well, I could also ask others um, who are part of other NGOs to join us. Exactly. Um, this is what this is what would be very, very helpful for me as well. Uh -huh. You know, like um, I'd be happy to help other organizations, but, you know, like it's not easy to reach out to Maltese organizations because mm -hmm. like if you don't know them, like they're a bit skeptical about who is this guy, what does he want from me and like what not, but like, I, yes, you know, like... <laughs> I, I understand that, but like, yeah, but um, but uh, you know, like I, I will appreciate any sort of promotion or support. But like, this is what I, I would like to do. So maybe I'll send a message to you mid-May, telling you, you know, like I'm planning to do this um, on this date. What do you think? I mean, like, are you available? And we can, you know, we can organize something that like it's really, really for you. Okay. Um. What can I say? Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, it was. Okay. I think for today, let's leave it there because time is what it is like. And I will try to explore the Google thing, the Google for nonprofits, just to see what it's like. Um, and then eventually, uh, all right, it's, it's something f for me also to get into what I need for these things is time, always. If I have time, I will enjoy them perfectly, but there's a lot of pressures at the moment for the little time that there is. So For sure, for sure. But like, you know, what, I, what, what I'm thinking to do is also that like, um, since 
some of these skills are very important also for the youngsters. You know, like what we can do is like uh, you will be connected with the account, but I'll, I'll teach the youngsters how to use these tools. And that might, might be also something we can offer. You know, like I'm very, very open on how to do it. My objective is to make nonprofit organization work better and be more impactful. And I think technology can be one tool. So like um, how we do it, it's not really uh, a problem for me. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Drive and Canva would be good for us as well. Um, eventually, Facebook adverts. I think those those three for us will be really quite good because Canva, there is already somebody who, well, we already use them a little bit. Um, drive uh, and uh, drive if there, if there's us more space or we can set up some sort of. Uh, oh, another thing which I liked was the WordPress without having a domain. That was another thing which um i'll show you i'll show you exactly how it works like in a second because like i have some okay. website and i think it's interesting just to see how it works because like it's very very simple and um interesting structure this is again like it's connected with um google so like through your account you have also <clears throat> a possibility to create a website you see my screen this is a drag yes. and drop website Okay. And um, everything, it's, um, it's very simple to use, you know, like you add images, you have like different kind of um, um, things on the site and, um, and then you can just publish it and like you send the link to somebody and they will be able to access and know everything that is on that website. And it's very, very simple to um, put it out and like to create and doesn't take any space. And it's um, quite useful at certain times. So it's very dependent on what you think to be doing with that, of course. No? Mm -hmm. That's WordPress, yes, yes. No, this is um, Google website is called. What's it called? Or Google website. A Google, a Google website. OK, I thought it was a WordPress website. Okay. No, WordPress, WordPress it's the, um, the serious one fundamentally. I mean, like it's a okay. little bit more complex. I would not okay. recommend to start with that unless you want to go. No, no, no worry. It was, it, it. if it's the same thing, a good Google website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Antoine, I'll send you some, um, some other information, maybe some links uh, where to find more information about that. And like, um, thank you very much again for being here. Thank Pleasure. you as well. And uh, I'll see you next week, no? Please, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In Valletta. Have a good one. In Valletta, yes, yes, yes. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Thanks again. Thank you, Matteo. Thanks for ciao. your time. Cheers.